Morning, folks. I'm in the town of Killin, and uh, that's the River Lockie there. I'm going to put the boat in the water this morning and I'm going to paddle out onto Loch Tay. Sorry about the noise, a big tractor coming. So the plan is to get out on the loch, paddle across to an island, and we'll set up camp on the island for tonight. It'll be a wee bit quieter there. Let's get this boat off the, the car first. Plan is to paddle down the river Loch A until I meet uh, the Loch Loch Tay, and then I've got a few kilometres. It's quite a short paddle today. There's a couple of islands on Loch Tay that I've camped on. I'm going to camp on the big island tonight, which is actually the closest one. And uh, uh, the reason for that is I just want to have an easy day. I've been quite busy in the outdoors this month, so quite nice just to have a, an easy day chilling by the fire. Well folks that's me loaded up, good to go. It floats, that's a good sign.
you can tell how wet it's been. There's a fair chunk of the island underwater. Might have to sleep in the boat tonight. There's some higher ground over here. I've camped here uh, several times. I know the island well. We'll be fine. And if the water rises anymore, we've got a boat to get off. Let's go. Quite good in this spot here. I'm going to drop this rucksack and I'm going to hike back and get some more in my gear. sitting here and I, my eyes seem to be exactly level with the water. <laughs> the land comes up a little bit from the loch side and then it drops down gently. And just over your shoulder there, there's quite a lot of standing water. I haven't seen the island as wet as this. But we're fine, there's no rain forecast. Maybe a wee bit drizzle, but there's no actual rain forecast. And I think this wind will settle down.
a full, fully inflated and then when I'm lying on it I open the valve and let a wee bit of air out, I just adjust it to comfort once, uh, once my weight's on it. I've done it many a time, but I brought map, compass and GPS because when the mist comes down on the water it's very very disorientating. I remember I was camping on one of the islands, one of the wee skerries off Arasig and it was glorious high summer weather and I didn't have a GPS with me and in the evening the fog rolled in. Boy it was thick. Fortunately, I had a compass. I was, I was in my kayak and I was paddling back across the sea with a very gentle swell. It was very, very atmospheric, very enjoyable actually, but it could have been a different evening had, uh, had I not had that compass with me. So I've brought a lot of wood with me, the idea is to have a fire tonight, I'm going to cook on the fire, so I need the fire for heat but I also need it for cooking. And that means I, I haven't got my steel fire pit with me, so it means digging a fire pit. And much as I love this island, in uh, recent years there has been a proliferation of fire pits and uh, damage from fires. So you can see here there's two or three. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to open one of them up but I'm also going to uh, use some of the material and I'm going to try and use my landscaping skills to do a little bit of repair work, re reduce the number of fire pits. <laughs> original level now and although there's an obvious scar it will heal uh, quite quickly especially once the spring comes around. The bottom of this fire pit is pretty wet so I'm putting a layer of logs in just to put this old piece in as well just to keep my fire off the, the wet ground until it gets uh, going. I've not got a tremendous amount of daylight left. So I'm going to get a decent fire going and I'm going to try and film a wee bit after dark. That's my plan. See if I can uh, film a little bit of cooking. So I've got some nice vegetables to cook up. I need these coals to burn down a bit. And then we can uh, we can get cooking, but I'll do the prep now. Get my uh, veggies chopped up, and ready to go. Oh, 
who works out. So we've got a bag of vegetables here. We get them prepped up. Sorry, am I shining the torch in your eyes every time I look up? We'll get them prepped up and into the frying pan with a little bit of olive oil. I can find the frying pan. I'm just cutting these aubergines down a little bit. Cook them a little bit faster, I'm a little bit hungry. Well folks, that's the prep done. Turn that torch down so it's not blinding you. Just have to wait on the coals. Sit here and enjoy my cup of tea. Okay, I think we're good to go. A good bed of coals here. You hear the geese going down the loch. How am I going to do this? Just pop that one in there, I think. I like to pop uh, a lid on these veggies just to keep the moisture in. The mushrooms are almost done. You can see that. How are these doing? good. How well you can see that. Look, the coals are still a bit hot taking my hand across it. So a wee veggie burger for my dinner tonight. I had to move my hand here, I'm getting a bit hot over these coals. With a portion of vegetables on the side. So I'm gonna tuck into this folks. I'm not gonna make you watch me eat. I'm gonna Liven the fire up a little bit, so I've got a wee bit company while I'm eating. That was grand, I enjoyed my vegetable burger and my stir-fried veggies. A cup of tea and a square of chocolate, maybe two squares of chocolate. Well folks, sorry I'll take this off, 
with it. I'm not blinding you. It's uh, not particularly cold. I'm in the tent. I had a nice evening by the fire, enjoyed my dinner. So I'm charging up one GoPro and talking to the other one. I'm just reading my book, relaxing. I'm not in my sleeping bag, it's not cold enough. I've actually got quite a heavy sleeping bag. I might have to unzip it a wee bit tonight. I actually saw a bug flying around in here a wee while ago. So quite mild. So I'm going to relax, read my book, and I'm hoping to get up reasonably early tomorrow. I've got a few things to do at home, so I don't want to be too late down the road. I may paddle back the long way. I might go out and do a circuit round the wee island in the morning. Go up the lock a little bit. I'll see how it goes. If the weather's nice. You can hear a little bit of wind in the trees behind me there, but some of that noise, I don't know if the GoPro's picking it up actually, some of that noise is the falls of Dockert, which are very well known, but I think the wind's bringing uh, some of that noise across, so. But it's a lovely sound to go to sleep with, the wind and the water. Now that's the wind, you can hear that picking up. I'm smiling, might get stuck on the island. I don't want to do that, I've not got very much left to eat. I really enjoyed my dinner, but I didn't bring a lot of food with me. It's the tent flapping. So yeah, it's a wee bit breezy, but uh, I think it's supposed to be fairly calm again tomorrow. And it's not a difficult paddle back. I'm not at all worried. Is my face clean? <laughs> Sitting by the fire, you get dirty hands and then you rub your face. And you get charcoal on your face. Right, blethering on here. I'm going to read my book. And we'll get back to you in the morning, folks. Good night now. Simple breakfast this morning, coffee and porridge. Just enjoying getting warmed up first. First cup of coffee in the morning is always grand when you're camping. There's a nice sky behind you. Not quite as grey as it was yesterday. that to cook up. I've warmed up a bit. Coffee helps. Can you hear the birds singing? I'm just sitting here enjoying my second cup of coffee, letting the fire burn down. It's got a rare heat in it now. Grand. Lazy morning. So I've still got to break camp. I've got to repair this fire pit. There is another fire pit over there, but I'm going to leave that. 
I've got a birch tree in my garden at home and uh, it's a Himalayan birch. It exfoliates these big bits of uh, birch bark. It's perfect for getting the fire going, but I think I'm going to burn that. I don't really bother taking it back. Sitting out, there was a, quite a heavy shower of rain in the night actually. I, I left my firewood out, it was a wee bit wet this morning. But it's well seasoned, it burns quickly. It's warmed up a fair bit, folks. The tent's not dry, but I want to get it down, I want to get out on the water. Well, there we are, that's packed up, good to go. Just need to get uh, the boat in the water and uh, oh, I've still got the fire pit to do. Put my gloves on and uh, my final bit of landscaping. This is the wee island that I'm heading to and they check it out. With such high water levels I'm intrigued to see how much land there is left. Because the last couple of times I paddled this way, this wee island has been pretty waterlogged.
Might actually be difficult getting out of the boat to have a look. I think I can get out here. Past that wee clump of willows. Flooded. And I think there's a reason why this island is flooding so much. I'll give you a clue. Let me show you something. 